people to get online. Okay, we're live. Hello. Hello. We're going to do a tutorial and use Kiddo's pictures on how to do that uh, dreamy effect uh, that we do with the Photoshop. And it, it's not really that hard to do. You know, it's something, and we want to talk a little bit about why I'm doing this. But the photo shoot we just had, kiddo, didn't we just have a photo shoot? Maybe like two weekends ago, something yeah, like that. It was. Yeah, and it went pretty good, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had a fun photo shoot well, because it was like, and, and you got to hang out with Rin and Ash, which was really cool. That was really cool. It was my first time getting to meet them, and they're both super cool. So yeah, I was excited they were about just that. fun to be with. And, um, so actually, this is actually a pretty good photo I'm using because it is already has that little blur effect to it. So um, we're gonna put that up. I hope everybody. I'm gonna turn see if I can turn down the music just a little bit because I want to make sure we're not drowning on the kill. Oh, that's right. You can use the mouse to use the volume. Isn't that so cool? All right. Okay. Now, first thing you guys are gonna have to do is you're gonna have to have Photoshop to do this. <laughs> That's the number one thing. Is that right, kiddo? They're going to have that Photoshop. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. So what I've got is the lovely kiddo, and uh, who is uh, non-gendered. We let you use your imagination on that. <laughs> we let you use your imagination. Exactly. Like because we I'm believe that I... that's between her and the Lord God. <laughs> and him or her between the Lord God and him and her. So... But if you somehow male or female are attracted, we are okay with it. Because <laughs> single Pringle for life. Single Pringle for life. <laughs> so you know, actually, this pose we could add like a little bit more effects. We may use a little bit more effects on this, and and of course, Kiddo don't even know what I'm doing, and so, <laughs> but she's gonna have to use. Uh, I mean, Kiddo is gonna have to use. Um, their imagination on what we're doing here. Oh, so what we're like, trying wow, to this looks so good and you're totally like editing a picture of Ash instead. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, everybody, this is this is Kiddo and uh as the a character Tharja, right? Is that how you say it? Yes. Tharja, and that's from what anime was that from? It is actually a uh, DS game. It's from Fire Emblem Awakening. Okay. And it's honestly one of my favorite cosplays, even though it's one of my newest. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to duplicate the layer. And what that does is we can, with the duplicating the layer, we can like, uh, you know, make it more transparent. And that's very important because what we're going to do from there is is uh, we're going to use the Gaussian uh, blur effect, okay? And uh, what you do, you'll select that on your Photoshop. You're going to apply it to that top layer. And you can add as much blur as you want to because, like I said, kind of make it like it's more like it's uh, like a faraway fly effect, like you're squinting your eyes. You ever squint your eyes sometimes, kiddo, and you get kind of blurry like that? Uh-huh. Yeah, you do that all the time. I know you do. It's like, especially at a party or something, trying to make sure that's, that it makes makes people look more attractive when you do that. All right, so get it like that. We're going to bypass it about 50% of our layer. And what we can also do is we're going to make the lighting really high. Like, we're going to bring up the brightness to about, like, 6 or 40 or 50. We're going to make it really, really bright. And what that does, it kind of gives it a little bit more dreamy effect. And right now, we can use this thing. And this is one effect I'm going to keep on this one. But one thing you're going to see, you're going to notice her face is, or his face is kind of blurred here. So what we're going to do is, since it's layered on top, we can actually erase where it's too blurry. Ah, you see? So it doesn't look like, so we can see the face more detailed. Because one thing, you know, if you got a pretty face, you might as well flaunt it, right, kiddo? It looks so good. I can't see it, but it looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And one thing, too, is I like, uh, you know, skin tone is very important when you're doing this. And so what I might do to kind of match the skin tone with the blur effect is we're going to make it a little bit brighter, too. And nothing like a bright photo which can brighten a day. Right? 
So it's like, here we go. We're going to brighten the day really good. And you guys who will miss this, we will keep try to reload this. And two, and uh, let's see. We're going to race a little bit more so we can see, see more, a little bit more skin there on the effect there. And it kind of, like I said, gives it a little bit more dreamy effect. Right. One thing is, like, I like around, I like to have the dreamy effect, like, around their, um, you know, their um, hair, which is a really cool effect there. All right, so this kind of, like I said, gives it a little bit more dreamy effect right there. And, like I said, we've kind of raced it. Now, what I thought, since we got the hands up, we can add a, a, a solar flare effect. And we're going to put it by the hands, okay? I see. I have no idea which picture you're editing. I'm like, oh, I have hands. That's a thing. Yeah, that's what I said. Now, in one way, uh, if you want to see this, kiddo, I don't know if you got how much your internet. You can go to the live page right now, and you can probably oh, see. I totally got your genius. And do that if you want to, and see how this looks like that. Oh, yeah, and that looks really cool. And um, now, what we can do if we want to, because it kind of blinds her face, so we can duplicate the letter, uh, duplicate the letter. We're going to duplicate the later layer, okay? And now we're going to add the solar flare, solar flare effect on her hand like that, so it looks like uh, Tharja is about to give out some powers. But because I want her, want the face to be, uh, uh, you know, in there, I'm going to erase the rest of the solar flare that's covering up the face, so you're going to see the face more effect. All right, you got it. All right, like that. We're going to go over the body real good with the racer and give it kind of a thing. So, like, can you see it through the live show or not? Uh, my computer is kind of poopy, but uh, I'll pretend fine. I can see it. Okay, that's cool. We can pretend. So that's what we're doing with Tharja right now. And that's how you kind of get this kind of little dreamy effect in the background. Now, um... Like I said, I'm going to kind of me mess with it a little bit to get it to match. In one way, we're going to have to lighten it a bit, do a little lighting effect, and that way match it a bit. And uh, I'm going to do the bottom one and lighten it a little bit. And, you know, you can contrast it a little bit to give it a, you know, a more professional type look. Like, uh, you know, like that, something like that. And it gives, and like, there you go. You got kind of a dreamy effect here going on here. And then uh, you'll add your little watermark. And of course, everybody knows the Toru Takanuru watermark. And uh, which we'll put on top of it to remind people this is a Toru Takanuru photo. It's a photo. Presenting by Toru Takanuru. That's right. And there we go. Really cool effect there. And there's so many things you can do. You just got to use your imagination. I like trying to be like, you ever seen Bob Ross, you know? We're going to make a happy kiddo. We're going to make a happy kiddo here. There and are no mistakes, just happy accidents. Exactly, just happy accidents. So we're going to make our kiddo really happy. Now I'm going to add some watermark to it to make it make it really happy looking. And now it's all dreamy and glowing in effect. It really does. It kind of gives it gives kiddo more glowing, dreamy effect because we want to make kiddo dreamy and glowy. Because we want you to dream about Kiddo. I've had dreams about you, though, before. But uh, I can't remember. Really? Yeah, I had a dream about you one About day. photo shooting and just, like, everywhere and being awesome? I, something like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like... No, I, I do remember having a dream about you one day. And it was so realistic. It was crazy. It was like, oh, God. You do... Uh, <laughs> when you start working with people, you have the kind of those dreams. Everyone's like, oh, that was just crazy dream kind of Where's, that? Where's my watermark here? And as usual, the music you're listening to is all mine so that uh, we do not get copyright strike on YouTube because <laughs> YouTube will do that. <laughs> and if you're interested in any of the music that we do play here, you can uh, get in contact with me. I have an email address and you can contact me on YouTube. So there's our first one. Dream effect. And we're going to do some pretty neat little dream effects with more with Tharja. Is that correct how you say it? Is that how you really say it? Yeah. Tharja. How do you say it? Tharja. Tharja. Now you sound, you sound, you sound like Jaja. Tharja. 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 Yeah, I'll talk a little bit about the shoot and how it went and... You know, did you learn anything? Was it a good shoot? Or so many things we want to progress in our shoots. 
I definitely had a lot of fun. Um, I feel like we're definitely progressing. The more that we get to shoot together, you're finding like the correct lighting and angles for me personally. Um, when it comes to working with Ash, difficult huh? ones, there were some difficult ones that I couldn't do. <laughs> when it came to working with Ash and Win, like it was awesome. I really enjoyed that. They're really cool. So. It's been a while since I've gotten to work with other models, so it was pretty exciting for me. Yeah, and when the summertime oh. comes, you'll probably have to work with more, and because we got a couple more. But right now, I don't want to be overloaded. <laughs> we're, I mean, we were we are I, really pushing it right now. And uh, what is like, it in like two weekends? We have we have more events coming up. So yeah, and um, so it's like. You know, you just uh, do the best you can. Because I'll be honest with you, during the winter time, it it is usually slow. It really is. And um, so, yay! There's our first photo, and I'm gonna do a couple more of uh, you guys, so you guys can get the gist of what we're doing with the dreamy effect. Let me see. Let's get Kiddo back up here so you can see here. Let's see, hey Kiddo, wave to everybody. It's the real Kiddo hair. Real Kiddo hair. Do I have red hair? Do I have blue hair? I don't know. It's all there. <laughs> so, yeah, the uh so tell us about that day, the entire day where it started. Why? Um where that, it started? Yeah, how did it start? Cuz you, you it didn't start really great for you to start out with, did it? <laughs> did it? <laughs> you woke up a little I'm late. I'm trying to remember like was I was I not a happy kiddo at first? No, no, I'm talking about in the morning where you were trying to uh, uh, get up and get to our destination, remember? <laughs> what happened? Oh, no. So I think we were supposed to wake up around 7 a.m. So we would get there with enough time to, like, you know, go exploring in the area because it's a new area that we've never been to before, and I was pretty excited about that. But, um... We ended up we ended up not waking up until like ten thirty, and that was because uh, my friend who was going with me and driving like was pounding on my door, and I was like, "Oh, it's probably seven o'clock." And then I look at the clock, and it's like, "Oh, it's 11. and I'm like, "Oh no!" <laughs> but um, so it took us a minute to get there, but once we got there, it was all fun. I really enjoyed shooting by the pool. That was a new one. Um, yeah. And the in-room shoots were really fun too. So, yeah, that was something. I, I I don't know. I mean, I've there's so many models that you know will eventually have to do that, and so yeah, it's a, it was a real learning experience for both of us, and I I think it really paid off in the long run because um, you know. Um, you know, because we're going to have to move on to different things and. Um, and uh, ideas, but I, I'm excited for what we're planning on doing because, uh, you know, you know, I mean, if we have a good year and there is a good possibility, you know, we're going to have a good year. Uh, so that would mean we can do so many things like interviews and, um, you know, um, and things like that. Whereas before, you know, you know, it was so hard to get that all going. And uh, I think the one thing is now, you know, I'm able to provide you guys a way of, you know, doing this, you know. Uh, and we Right, got you definitely to... have, like, a way to help us out to really be able to um, bring out, what am I trying to say? Yeah. Learning experiences, you know, you tell us, like, a little more how to pose, see... And then whenever we get the uh, pictures back, the feedback back, we see it's like, oh, I understand why he said that. That looks a lot better. And then right. we start naturally, you know, figuring out how to pose, how to model things in order to make a good shoot. Yeah. And there and like I said, technically with uh, me photoshopping other people's photos, you know, I think that's made a difference because you know that's where i really was my strong point and when uh, the, the i was like oh my gosh i don't know if i could i'd i'll be honest with you and I've, I've said this i really avoided getting into steel photography and i think i thought there was more, much more drama to me you know what i'm saying in steel uh -huh. photography than there was 
with uh, video. With video, it's just unique. You know, I, l- I always wanted to do music videos. That's the bottom line. And so that's the reason why I was more attracted to the um, videos because I love music videos and I, I do music anyways. So, um, and when, I've been uploading more uh, covers, getting right, back exactly. into the whole performance side of it. So I'm pretty excited about that with the new year since it's well, been a little I while. Mean, that's, since that's one thing we really got to shoot for is like if you do a song, is let's do a music video to it. I mean, and course, it, yeah, definitely. it would be challenging. And and like I said, you know it's not that hard to get a song online. And, uh, you know, and those things what uh, we can do. And if you do a cover song, it's about $40 to cover that cover song to make sure you can make money off of it and, you know, things like that. And, and like I said, you know, with us having video editing experience, it, it does make it a little bit easier. <laughs> You know, and and that kind of thing. So you know, there's so many things we can do, and I, I'm excited, and I hope, hope we're going to have a, a, a good year because if we do, uh, it will. You know, it'll be exciting. I mean, uh, we can go further, and like I said, we can start monetizing off of videos and selling merchandise and things like that, which we really need to do. And uh, you know, we've got a wish list now that you can. Uh, donate. We put you can put a gift card in for kiddo or uh, one of us, and we'll be gladly use it to for the business because that's what we plan to do. And uh, you know, we want to get Patreon and all that good stuff. Because uh, you know, we are also still accepting a uh, fan mail, right? Or right, is that exactly. No the same way with the post office box, uh, you can send us gifts to that. Like I said, we've got an Amazon wish list now on our link, so you can uh, get a. There's a gift card. All you gotta do is click on the gift cards and. Boom! There you go. You send a gift card, or you can donate, and a kiddo will put a a cosplay up there, and you can donate a cosplay to us. We, you know, we're fine with that, and all those things. So, you know, hey, we're gonna get all that together. So many pretty cosplays. Exactly. <laughs> so what's what's the so what happened? So you you got there, you know, at a decent time. So what what happened after that? So. Yeah. Oh no! I remember what you're talking about. Okay. So, back up to whenever um, I woke up at, like, 10.30. Right. I realized that I had packed, you know, most... I've gathered my cosplays and everything, and then I realized, oh, crap, I didn't pack them. So I was running around the house trying to, like, throw everything in a bag, so... And I ended up forgetting, like... (laughs) I ended up bringing, like, four cosplays and forgetting something for all of them, and I did not even have a wig cap. Oh, my goodness. So for the entire photos that we were doing, um, I had my hair into two ponytails, one in the back, and then I took my bangs and had one like this. So <laughs> it was interesting. Yeah, it was it was an interesting day. I mean, but like I said, I mean, yeah, I was surprised. I mean, I wanted the room to be a, a little bit bigger. But, uh, you know, other than that, I don't have no complaints. Decent, honestly. Oh, I was surprised how good the pizza was. That blew my mind. I really was, because I was like, I had never ordered a pizza from there, and and we had to get something to eat. We were both starving to death, or you were starving, and, and everybody else was starving, so I was like, we'll go order this pizza, and they had this one little pamphlet up front, and, you know, it's a little small town. There's not much there, <laughs> and so we ordered that pizza, and it came in, and I was like, oh, this is pretty dang good. <laughs> The, That's uh, what made it fun about it, uh, getting to go to a different town and shoot because we got to do a little bit of exploring on the way home, you know? Yeah. And well, that's that's sort of we were supposed to leave early, but that that did not happen. Yeah, one of so those. I enjoyed it quite yeah. a lot, honestly. Yeah, and like I said, yeah, that was the first time you ever shot at a swimming pool, really? Um, an indoor pool. That's indoor the first pool. time okay. I've actually done something around an indoor pool and not centered inside of the water which i thought was really interesting and we did get some really cool photos without it you know it was really interesting i enjoyed it yeah there's um uh there's supposed to be a hot tub at there too and i i don't know where it's at and uh, i did not see that no i didn't either but i I read i think you have to get there's like the bigger suites you get and they have these huge hot tubs in there but I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's like, what did you do? <laughs> but, yeah, when we first did this and I saw the 
because you were saying thing. Maybe I should do the Miku swimsuit thing. And I was like, remember that you were talking about it? I was like, well, I didn't know, you know, you know what we were on time and so forth. But um, mm-hmm. and yeah. I was completely oblivious to the location as well. Like mm-hmm. I was completely new to the city, the hotel. Yeah, and um, I think there is a better hotel. Uh, behind that one that has a nice, very nice indoor pool. So, you know, we're going to look at that. But, uh, you know, the I'm thing was... I'm excited yeah. we hit the warmer season. We get to uh-huh. go more creative and well, find different you, places to shoot. I was so... I um, uh, <laughs> didn't realize how hot those indoor pool areas get. <laughs> Can you imagine? I was Poor gonna... Ash! Ash was in, like, full leather cosplay. I don't know how they did it. It was crazy. It was like... But, yeah, it just... they were. It was really, really hot. And uh, I was like, golly, this is hot. That's the reason I, I made sure you guys got some fluids in you. Because... <laughs> on this... My favorite... I just thought of this. My favorite photo that we did of me, Ash, and Rin together is the one that we redid of the meme. With, yes. You know, looking back in the girl. That was so, it turned out amazing. And I really loved it. Yeah, I, I, I was. I, everywhere. You know, of course, that was my idea. <laughs> no. It turned out really, really good. Yeah, um, I hate to say this. I mean, uh, as far as like a backup photographer, Ash has been really great. And, um, and sometimes we have about three or four photos that Ash got the shot, shoot, and they helped me out a lot. I mean, one thing is, uh, you know, like, uh, if I have Ash climb a tree or something, that's a area that Ash can shoot, because Ash is up already up in the tree, but the thing was, uh, I had a problem getting uh, a certain position, uh, you know, with you on the uh, shot, and Ash was able to perform that better. And I thought that was great. That really helped me out a lot. So excited, too. Just, like, immediately hopped up on the bed and got the camera and was like, I got this. Don't worry. <laughs> You're like, I'm experienced. I can do this. <laughs> She's like, I know exactly what I'm doing. Don't worry about it. Oh, well, and it's so much easier to do this when you work with people you know. That's, just, that's, the, that's the best part about it. And Especially you, people you have you have fun with because that's exactly. that's what really makes or breaks the shoot, honestly. Because it, it, if if it wasn't if it, you came into a stranger environment, it, it might have been a little bit harder and less comfortable. And like I said, we're going to do about five more of these photos and see if I find them or do another dream effect. But I think you guys, I love the mirror thing. If we can get something going good with that, let me see if I can do it more my business. Um, I'm also doing the dark strokes effect too on this one, so you guys, I, and that's it's the same way with doing the dreamy effect is like you're doing the ga- Gaussian blur, bird, you're doing the Gaussian blur, and then you light it up, and then you're going to transparent to a certain level. Well, you're going to do the same thing with dark strokes. Is you're going to do dark strokes, and you're going to transparent a certain level until you get it right. And one thing is what these cosplayers are looking for, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure Kiddo will agree with me on this, is that they want that face to be more painted. Is my not right? Like it's more like it's artistic. And those are some things we'll, we might go over as well. But uh, we're going to focus more on... I love this mirror. Do you remember the mirror shots? I do. I really enjoyed those. And yeah. I saw the ones that you posted of uh, the ones Ashton, and those yeah. turned out really well too. So I'm pretty excited. Oh yeah, I can cannot do it. <laughs> we'll see more of that. Cannot wait to see more of that. Let's see. Yes, when I uh, do the posing, I have a kiddo that say lie on the bed, and he lies on the bed, and I say he smile, and the kiddo smiles, and that's how I do it. What's my motivation? Exactly. Your motivation is that because I said so. That is my motivation. <laughs> Yeah, we had we had so much fun, and I can't wait till we it does get warmer where we can uh, where we can get better places to shoot. And so many like I have so many summerish cosplays, you know, that I can right. really like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, especially I, I'm 
You know, there, especially where you're at, I wish we could go back to the cabin area again, you know, and do those. Those would be really good. You know, where we did the lake shots? Remember those? Or you're like, my mind is slept. We went to the hotel, and the lady kicked us out. And then we went to the beach, this little oh, lake I beach. Oh, that for, um, we were actually, this was years ago when we were still doing dance covers. This was yeah. 20, what was it? This was 2012. Right. This was a long time ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Back when kiddo was even more kiddo. Yeah. And so, but I mean, can you imagine? I mean, we, we got lucky at finding that spot. I mean, how lucky yeah. were we? Because where, I mean, that was a great place. That turned out to be a great place. And I'm saying to myself, I, you know, I told a friend of mine because he was looking, what's a good place to shoot? And I'm like, I can tell you a good place. That I, you know, I showed him that place that we went to. And, and that was a luck of a draw. I mean, it really was. With, with the, uh, the, the beach we found close yeah. by? That was great. I mean, he's, um, I, I absolutely love that. That was fun, and I can't, you know, I I cannot wait. I'd like to go back there, definitely, and do something. And, uh, you know, there are some places that, I think, was there Sheraton Park is one of them, is a good place to shoot, and uh, what's another good place to shoot something? Uh, just, you know, you, you, you can be creative, you know, it's like you don't... Um, you know, with you come up with shoots. I mean, because uh, there's this place around here that I like between our two counties, and I'd have to show you. It's called Apple Hilldale, and we're planning on doing a shoot there pretty soon. But uh, I tell you, by the summertime, we should, we'll probably pick up about three more cosplayers by then. But I, I just like, you know, I, I'm fine with what I got right now. <laughs> I've got you and Ash and Ren, and that's okay right now. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> Time to be special. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> you know, I have the enough. I have the cuteness I need right now. <laughs> I have all the cuteness I need right now. Well, when it when warms up, overload. exactly. I got cuteness overload. You know, it's like when when the the summertime uh, you know comes, we'll we'll do more. You know, and and I plan to. But it's like right now, let's let's you know be happy with what we got, and we've done pretty good. Uh, for what we did and you know I, i'm i'm surprised here i am in what almost february and i still got you know uh, stuff still to edit i mean i'm going through it. so i'm really happy with that of course i wish i was back to video that just looks great i wish i could show you this one right now that i'm working on this one looks really good like i said if you if you could get on the live show you'd be able to see it um this one looks really good this one's gonna come out really good so that's about four. And we're going to do one more, kiddo. Let's see if I get my watermark on it. Yeah, and I hope you guys that are fans of kiddo from her from the, the kiddo site are on here. Appreciate you guys stopping by. We are really happy. What to is it? The uh, a- anime voice kiddo is my channel. Or yeah. I think it's a kind of a kiddo now. I can't yeah, remember. I but the Instagram is... is uh, Lukey Doki, which I thought was a really cool username. I'm oh, excited yeah, to use it. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of the people who don't know you, I was like, uh, of course, we kind of like for, I mean, we really, uh, uh, on the Toro Talker Nero channel, we kind of like uh, really were successful in the cute genre. That's where we really succeeded. And, uh, yeah, any- people, you know, Yep, it was so much. It's still so much fun. I enjoy yeah. it a lot. The, uh, it was definitely, definitely extremely exciting. Yeah, you know, and it's, you know, of course, a lot of us have grown up. Some of us have, and it's <laughs> <laughs> just a tiny bit, but uh, but yeah, we we survived on a lot of the key. It was just, you know, we do something. We wanted to try to, you know, work on uh, the cuteness, you know, of it. And, you know, wanted something where people can take a break from all the, you know, the ugliness of the world, I guess you could say, <laughs> for a while. <laughs> I mean, and th- that's what people don't understand. It's like, you know, you, you, 
you know, our channel is not political. It's not. It's, if you want to find a way of life, don't watch us. You know, if you want to watch silly people having a good time, that's where I want you to be. You know, it's like <laughs> having fun. Everybody needs a little bit of Lukey in their life. Exactly. But if you want, to, if you're trying to find the meaning of life, don't turn our channel. <laughs> we're, we're not going to get on. I disagree. I disagree. I feel like cosplay is life, man. <laughs> cosplay is life. Well, that's another thing too. Is I, I want my philosophy to be when we're doing cosplay is like everybody can do it and everybody can have a good time doing it. And uh, this stuff where you're sitting there, there's got to be rules. No. We go, we, we're like, we take, like, they give us, like, a coloring book. We're, like, going outside of the lines all the time. <laughs> Always. Always. Especially yeah. kiddo. <laughs> we're going to, like, we're, we're, you know, it's, Elsa's hair does not have to be blonde, okay? We can make it any color we want to. And Elsa doesn't have to be white. She can be anybody she wants My to. My old... <laughs> Uh, the suicide, the Suicide Squad Harley yeah. cosplay I did. I had my hair dyed blonde-ish at the time, right. and instead of using a wig, I put in like temporary dyes for the red and blue, and I feel like it turned out absolutely amazing. I feel maybe even better than if I used an actual wig. So I'm definitely getting more into experimenting with what I want to use for my cosplay because right. I want it to be a little more catered to me. You know, I want it to be individual. I want it to be me <laughs> yeah well i mean that's one thing too is i, I hope one of these days we can do a mashup and it, um, i mean one thing we really need to get an artist who can like really draw things out so we can do new stuff and uh you know and sets and that kind of thing because that would be the ultimate goal you know it's like design us some uh outfits design us some sets and that way we can go from there you know because i i suck at drawing i mean i'll just <laughs> i'll tell you it's <laughs> you have a friend that might be able to help us out in that yeah that i mean that's kind area. of stuff we i will have like, you uh, on that fan page yeah just in case just in case because it's like uh you know one thing i've enjoyed about working with you know ren and ash is they're willing to do new stuff you know we've done new stuff and we got ideas and go through and if um and uh, I'm so happy that we were able to, you know, we're able to, like, they've come up with cosplays that, you know, of their own and, and characters that, you know, uh, off of Debbie and Art, you know, they just, you know, someone did some comic book and they, they do it and that kind of thing. And that's, you know, I'm, I'm on for it because it's like if I can, like, copy, you know, make uh, items off of those, uh, uh, you know, cosplays, hey, I, I want to do it. You know, it's like... Uh, I enjoy it, and uh, it's like with you guys, I mean, you know, it's like you're getting more into the superhero stuff, and I'm all for that, you know, because, you know, it's just another genre of people that we can reach, you know, the superhero people, and it's like, I'm hoping by comic book day that we can do the meet and greets, that's what I'm excited about, because that's going to be so much fun, and you're going to get to, you're probably going to be any character you want to be for that, uh, you know, uh, for those meet and greets, I, but it'd be so fun to do because we get to sell uh, prints of you and, uh, and, and your cosplays and have them hopefully ready for. <laughs> meet and greets are, actual, are always so fun. I enjoy yeah. meeting everyone, and it's just the people we interact with, they're hilarious. These people are so cool. Like, yeah. not only are they helping support us, and you know, we love them right. for that, but as individual people, they are so cool. Yeah, and it's going to be fun. I, I think, like, if, you know, because, you know, once we get the comic book stores, you know, we can get the gamer people as well, and uh, we're planning doing those as well, like, because there's, like, now, you don't just don't have, like, the comic book stores. You also have the game places. Uh, I, get, mm -hmm. I call them, like, game stops, but they're not they really game stops. But there are uh, places where people play the games, you know, like uh, the Magic the Gathering card games and uh, the D&D and, &D and that kind of thing. And we can also visit those places in cosplay, which will be really fun. And like say, you sell prints and, and some of the guys really enjoy it, you know, because you're out there supporting the team. And <laughs> I don't see, I'm trying to figure out what effect I want on this. And we're going to do one more dreamy effect. What's that? 
said, who doesn't love superheroes? Yeah, exactly. And I, I think that's going to be really great when you, you do comic book day and, um, you know, try to get those days. Because you'll be showing up in a cosplay and, you know, everybody gets a free comic book. And then, like, the kids will want to take pictures with you and stuff like that. And I think that's going to be really cool. And then you, you have princes. You need to get princes. business cards. I know oh, we've been yeah. talking about that for years. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know. It's like, well, when I was doing celebrity interviews, they were like, why don't you have a business card? Because I, I looked them in the face. I said, I don't know if I want to do this all my life. <laughs> we have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> exactly. And, and one of them said, and you know what she said? She said, I know what you mean. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And uh, it's just, uh, you know, uh, this year, you know, like I said, there's a good chance that we could have a really good year this year and get the channel going and uh, we can start, you know, you know, profiting off it, which we really need to do. And, and for those people who, you know, because I'll be honest, you know, I gave up on the whole channel and, uh, you know, I'm not going to lie. And it's just, you know, you know. Something told me, said, you know, you know, when we stopped monetizing off the other channel and someone said, you know, you need to go back doing the Toru Takanuru channel and getting with it. And this is going to be a lovely effect right here. And, uh, you know, I, I had to, pu you know, push myself. I was like, you know, it's like uh, I need to get back out there and do this again. And, and uh, I had people come up to me and, with the still photography said, why don't you do still photography? And, and it's a lot of it because, you know, they don't understand one thing, that there's a difference between videography and still photography. I mean, uh, people A lot who, of your experience with yeah. that also came with working with me for so many years and with us girls. Because we did, not only did we do dance covers right. and all of that, we did do our best to just go all, all genres, all genres. Yeah, exactly. And, and and I thought you were going to say, you know, because you were so tough to work with, it <laughs> made it easier for me to do. I'm so mean. <laughs> <laughs> I want this. Um, I used to make jokes about stuff like that, you know, that, the, you know, it is a strange thing. And I'm not going to lie to you. It, it, and this is the God's honest truth. And people who don't, who know me know this is true, is people... Uh, that work with me, whether they be male or female, whatever, they're they're more comfortable with me than most photographers. And I'm, I'm I'm not gonna lie, that is just what I've heard. And it it I don't know what it is, why I'm not threatening enough <laughs> to people who run off. But yeah, I mean, I've I've had that heard that compliment so many times. I guess it's not a bad thing. Uh, because, you know, I've, I've worked with so many photographers that, like, can't talk. That's the bottom line. It's like you get these guys that, that are really shy and they creep you out. And you know those types. And they come up there. Communication is definitely key with shoots. You yeah. know, we can't exactly see ourselves and how the poses are turning out. So it's up to you to really guide us. Right. Yeah, so you're putting all the blame on me now, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, all of these terrible Terrible, <laughs> shots on you. So I think we got our five in, and I hope you guys learned how we did the um, dreamy effect. And of course, you know, really, kiddo doesn't need any effects. We could have just done this regular, but you know, I just wanted to give you a little tutorial on that too. So we got about we got a little bit of time before I have to go and meet with a photographer in a few minutes on what we're talking about. So that day, so we ended up. You came in. Oh, I'm sorry about my squeaky chair. I still need to roll it. You like that sound? It's like... It's like... <laughs> that is, I, I'm sorry about my squeaky chair. I've got plenty of chairs. I just like this one better because I like the noise. It just makes that noise. Okay, where were we going? We were talking about the day. Okay, let's go back to the day. Okay. So, you arrived there just in time to, for me to give you a key. <laughs> Literally perfect timing. Yeah, it worked out fine. And what about the staff? Were they not cool or what? I mean, with everything we they were doing. Were, they were interested in what, they were, what we were doing. They were uh, pretty excited about it, too. Everyone wanted to know. Um, a lot of the guests that were staying there, too. Like, we had someone who wanted to swim in the pool while we were doing shoots. And, you know, that was totally cool because we had other people getting to actually watch what we were doing. And uh, with recording, we had someone come up to us and uh, pay attention and, you know, <laughs> curious what we were doing. 
Well, at first, I'm almost thinking, oh, I hope this isn't like a hotel manager or something. <laughs> that was my first thing. <laughs> There's a. Oh. We've been through this snow. <laughs> well, yeah, we, we've been kicked out of a hotel. Hey, and it's like, you know, this is not the first hotel that Kiddo and I had been kicked out. So I was like, I was prepared, you know. All we have to ask is. In the is, video, you, you actually have a video with that. I think that was my. Uh, yeah. Hello, how are you video or something like that. Right. But I love how you do like a comment and you're like, but I'm adorable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were. So I was prepared to be kicked out if anything, like, you know, was going to happen. But, you know, he, he turned out to just be a drunk, which was cool. And, you know, I was like, oh, God, he's just drunk. You know, it's like, so that worked out really, really well because, you know. <laughs> my face in some of those pictures. I'm like, oh, my gosh, this guy needs to go away. <laughs> Of course, you go to the concert, so you're you're used to things like that, you know, and because I know yeah, how it is. Video and someone's like, "Hey, yeah. what you doing over there?" It's like, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like. Well, I used to go to the music festivals. We're not as wild at the music festivals, but when you get in those concerts in those stadiums, I know it's a little bit it's a little bit closed off. You don't have any place to run, you know, at least with the music festivals. It's interesting, especially when you yeah. have like a meet and greet session right. in in the room afterwards. So there's literally no place to run. No, <laughs> you can't no. run. Yeah, you, you in the see that's one thing I love about music festivals is like you can just run you can like you like get out of there you know you know so if something bad Put on happens, a mustache. i don't know who you're talking about exactly but you're, but you're in those closed areas of those concerts i mean i mean especially you, i mean a fight could brawl out anytime and you're like you're so wary you know something like I that actually i remember the craziest thing that happened is uh there was actually a bomb threat at one oh, of my concerts wow. because that's kind of yeah, it was crazy. So we had like security at the door the whole time and inside the doors too. It was it was really weird, but I mean it I got to look over a few times and it looked like security was actually really enjoying my concert, so I thought that was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean the this closed environment's a little bit it's a little bit hard and dodgy. I mean, especially like Quacon. Golly, you talk about I've never met a place where it's like so hard to get around the Quadcon. It was just, you know what I'm saying? How close the, close the environment was and couldn't even go in the hallways and so forth. Because I'm so used to cons where you have the guy with the big speakers dancing in the hallways and all that. Of course, we're... The bigger one. Right. I definitely want to go to more of those. Um, ones down here, a lot of them are shutting down, so I'm really... Yeah. Pretty upset about that, you know, because Kawakon, that's that's not a thing anymore. Yeah, and, um, you know, of course, they had a lot of personal problems is the reason why that closed, and um, and that, you know, that, that happens. I mean, luckily, luckily, it's not like a Motor City Con or something like that where they had oh the gosh. little, where they had the little pool of balls, and they charged like $2 for you to go into like a kiddie pool of balls, and... <laughs> The that entire was, con was a meme. It was like that was just terrible. It was like or or you know if they had like what was the last con where the you know the 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 vice president or one of them was like picking up younger chicks or something and oh yeah there was like okay get this he was like he was like the vice president of the con and they had to close it down. I can't remember it was like in Indiana. I think it was Indiana where they had the guy. And so, you know, they had some of those cons where you have it like a tin or something for uh, um, for uh, stuff. And so he was obviously hitting on the younger girls who were helping out putting out vendor stuff. I'm like, you sad, bro. And so, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, and it's like dudes like that. That's the reason, I, you know, that's the reason why a lot of people don't understand, like, why I have, like, a no-touch policy, right? And it's like, even when I, right. yeah, it's like, you know, even when people do hug me at cons, I'm like stiff, like my hands are touching my thigh, you know, I'm like grabbing on my legs, you know, making sure I'm not touching back, you know. <laughs> and of course, like, like, I was, exactly. It's like, yeah, that worked with my hands up, you know, you do the hands up, hands up, bro. And it's like, you know, <laughs> while you're getting hugged, but, <laughs> you know, it's like, and, you know, and that's one thing too, is when we were doing my first photo shoots, we used to videotape them. 
you know, like, uh, you know, that, you know, show people, yeah, show everybody so knows, fun. yeah, what, what we were doing and, and everything like that. And, but I had such success because, you know, my market has always been the cute market. And I think it's like, uh, you know, be the king of cute. And a lot of the other photographers really got confused about that. Like, they don't understand, like, the Lolita fashion. They don't understand the uh, schoolgirl uh, thing, you know, the Japanese schoolgirl or the Ak- Akabira, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's really not that big deal and I knew a guy who had been doing the cosplay for a while and all he knew about was like the superhero stuff and that was it you know <laughs> so like when he's like when he finally heard his first J-pop song he was like oh I get it now it's supposed to be cute you know I was like yeah that's how it works and and all this kind of thing and and of course the guys have their wafus and, that, and things like that see like if you have, and it's so funny, like, you have, like, the idols now over there in Japan. So what you can do now, if you have your favorite idol, right, you guys, you can take your picture, you take your favorite idol, and what you do in Akabira now. And so you guys can have, like, a pretend marriage relationship now. I'm not making this up. This is true. This is happening in Japan now. So, like, if you became, like, an idol, like, over there, they could take your picture, and then they can, then the computer creates what the child is going to look like and then like you then you can uh, figure out how you're going to raise the child and everything like that you know what you know what just different things like that and and then eventually see how it grows up so that's what they're doing now in japan so like your akb48 which you're talking about over 200 300 idols akabira idols so you like here's my favorite i like giri you know, or Yuki, or, or whatever, and so you pick them, That's and you're like, yeah, exactly, so you got this, to a kind of idol, right. or a kind of, you know, yeah, see, that's what we need to do, is what like, is have a v- VR game, where they, they, people can figure out what the child would look like, if, <laughs> you like an MMC thing, and we're gonna <laughs> be dancing and stuff, right, well, I was like, I hopefully, if, if you could get into the K-pop, uh, dancing covers, I would, I would really love that. Especially if you get in the high Una stuff and and that kind of thing, I, I, I would really love that. Of course, I don't know how it would affect your. I, my idea was like, okay, if they've got J metal, so why can't we do like J punk? You know, Japanese punk, like, uh, like I can't re- like some of the groups. Like, if you have baby metal, why couldn't we do like baby punk? You know, wouldn't that be cool? It'd be baby like- metal. <laughs> it was like <laughs> I don't know. It was like you know, it'd be like I am an anti idol. I am, an <laughs> you know, it's like uh, you know, I'm adorable. Yes, I'm adorable. <laughs> <laughs> it is so amazing. I you've seen Lady Baby, right? You know, Mm-mm. which is like uh, the dude who dresses up like the. Uh, uh, the idol girls, and he's like all the time, and he got the real deep voice. Oh, come on, you've got to see that. Like, have you seen Lady Baby? No, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like, you know, and it's basically a commercial for Japan. The first song is right, you know, you know, yeah, LED, you know, <laughs> like because they talk in Japan, they're talking about everything they got because it's, it's like a tourist to me, uh, a commercial for Japan. They talk about all the thing they got, you know. And then he does that really deep voice, you know, and then, <laughs> and it just, it's so crazy. And I was like, you know, okay, yeah, granted, they've got the metal. Let's give them that. Why can't we do something like that for punk, you know, like, you know, you know, more anarchish idols. That's what we need is a thing where it's like more, uh, you know, it, I mean, you can embrace more of the, instead of like, you've got lady, uh, baby metal. Why can't we have baby punk, you know? You know, I'd be all for it when you is like, you know, and do something like that. I don't. And plus, it would be it, metal is too hard for me to do anyways on the guitars. I can do the grunge sound a lot better, you know, easier. Grunge is easier to do, you know. The heavy metal guitars are so hard to do and record. Uh, and people say, well, all you gotta do is the iPod XT and you go through the tube. No, no, you need a big freaking Marshall amp. You need a big freaking Sennheiser 402, and you'll create more of a heavy metal sound. Dude, you know, Metallica used a little speaker and an SM57 Mac, 
and they threw it over their thing and amps like that. Stuff like that I could do, but they're different sound altogether. <laughs> <laughs> so you did some cover songs here lately. Which ones did you do here lately? Just recently, um, I revamped the Crossing Fields cover that I did because it was one of the favorites and one that I would uh, do at every one of my concerts. And all the feedback I got from it was very exciting. Everyone was extremely excited about it. I started... Uh, it's been a while since I posted anything, but it was amazing to see just how many of my followers were still engaged and still interacting with my posts. And I thought that was amazing. Yeah, I, the I'm, I'm other cover too. I did was um, "Roses" by Megan Dia, which right. I usually stray away from. Like, I usually try and stay with anime covers and stuff like that. So it was a real experience, and I really enjoyed it. Well, yeah, I mean, you've got a your, your certain type of voice you like to do, and it really works uh, for the songs. You can be really gentle, and so, and that's really kind of more of your thing. Um, it's sort of like a gentle, you know, voice, you know, it's not really like really raspy or anything like that. It's very clear. And, you know, what, I mean, when you first started it was always a cute stuff was really unique. And that's where I first heard when you were doing the, um, honey senpai stuff. And we talked about that. He's like, like, how did you know? Well, I knew because, uh, one of the models played your songs. And that's how I, you know, found out about it. And then I used the song for a photo shoot. And that's how the Cupcake Girl thing got, came along. And uh, because it was like, that's how it was tagged as Cupcake Girls. And then it wasn't like I was at Quacon and then someone says, Oh, you're the one who started the Cupcake Girls. <laughs> and I remember that and I was like, Oh, so that was a thing. Someone had made it a thing. <laughs> And it was so funny because, uh, it, it, you know, it was a dream because it never really became a... But people do associate the whole cute thing we were doing as Cupcake Girls. And uh, and it does. it's a pretty good analogy. Don't get me wrong. It really does because I don't know else how to describe what, you know, we were doing at the time because... You know, I and I was, and I'll be honest. I mean, I, I mean, I had to get more educated about the Ekabir stuff because I really didn't know a lot about it. But I knew I was on the court tales of someone who was trying to be an Ekabir idol, and you know, it's where I ended up because it, it worked for me, and uh, and I'm so glad I did it because I, you know, I've learned a lot more and so forth. I've gotten, you know, you know, I got friends in Japan now because of this and. And they could educate me more, but golly, it was a roller coaster ride to get there. And you got involved in it. And I sat there. I did dream about it. I was like, oh my gosh, you could be an Akabira idol. Really you could. You know, you got the look, you can do the thing, and there's nothing do, uh, nothing you can't do. And whatever you decide to do, I'm okay with it. And I will support you 100%. But that's how we got started, wasn't it? It was like, dang. What a ride. But. Yeah, it was more on the uh, performance side. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If, you know, and the more that you create that's new, that's more we can you can profit off of because it's not copyrighted. That's the best thing about it. Well, it's 5 o'clock. I think we did a good show there. I'm glad everybody joined us. And uh, say hello to and, uh, kiddo here saying bye. And got to get out here. We got to go talk to a photographer here and get something going and uh you may be making a trip sunday is that correct what you may <laughs> okay. I don't know about this. well okay. i, no, I, was just, I don't know, but okay. yeah i was like i was just no i was just looking on the internet we'll see about that because uh uh you know uh i've uh i've got sunday free and another photographer, I'm trying to work with him and see where we can go with that. And uh, that's that's uh, definitely give me the details. So yeah, I know exactly. What's going the 21st, <laughs> I, I do too. It just depends how uh, you know uh, where we're at because uh, it would be really unique. Because, like I said, I'm surprised if we you know if we get to do something extra. It's just a bonus is all it is for that. So. <laughs> All right. So, peace, guys. Thanks for joining us. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you uh, got to uh, 
uh, get your cuteness in for today. Look at that. Dimples. I got dimples. I'm so cute. Dimple. Dimple. Oh, All right. Bye, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.